Good morning students. Today we will be learning about chemical reactions. Today's question is, how can we improve the way that students learn about chemical reactions that occur during cooking? So does anybody know what, anything about cooking? Jessica. I know about the chemical reactions that occur when you're baking cookies. Cookies! What are cookies? You know, round, chewy, delicious. Oh, you mean hula coos. I love those. Yeah, has c 12 h 2 o 18 also known as sugar. You are correct, Wilson. Now to know more about chemical reactions, we'll do an experiment in the lab. Baking soda and cookies? Jessica. Sugar. Sugar! Sugar! Yay! Ba baking soda is an HDHO3. Ha! <laughs> okay, so what does baking soda do to cookies? Um, doesn't it make it rise or something? Yeah, that's right. Basically, there's water in the cookies and at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, the water vaporizes and after a while, the baking soda creates gas and that makes little holes which makes the cookie light. What do you think would happen if we took the sugar out? It would taste bad. He would still eat it. Yes, I would. It would be mushy. I don't think it would rise. Yeah, me either. Wait. Bulacoos rise? When it starts out, it's a mini ball. Then it rises and expands and hardens just a little. Cookies are ready. Is there any other way to show how baking soda creates gas? Yes. Here's a fun experiment showing how baking soda creates gas to make cookies. So I'm putting calcium chloride. CO2 gas as we can see, chalk and water. Going. Whoa! That's sweet. That's so cool! Amazing! Awesome! How'd you do that? <laughs> what? So how does popcorn pop? Popcorn pops because